One Smile is an interesting initiative hatched up in Uganda, and it's a short form for one square mile infrastructure leveraged for emergencies. The short end of it is that get a one square mile grid around a highway and then start tracking the health centers in that grid, start tracking the metal workers, the carpenters, the border border cyclists. Border border means motorcycle. Uh, those cyclists, the people who use that road, the kindergartens, all of those people are created and they become an ambulance response team. So that is the heart of this initiative. It's an initiative on the highways to reduce road accidents, but using the power of citizen science. The community itself which dies on that road will be more susceptible to ideas on participating in making a change or fundraising for a change on that road. So the targets of our ap application of One Smile are the community itself. And they are the agents of change. So we are tooling them with first aid skills so that they can become better first responders. We, the researchers, are just coming in as helpers, as midwives, to help the community birth homegrown solutions and ideas. So one of the things about promoting the application is uh, there is a World Day for Remembrance of Accident Victims inaugurated by the UN on October 25th. So that day is a special day when the whole world stops and has a moment of silence. So that is the, the, the chance when we want to launch big and talk about the value stories. People who have died on these roads, people who have been maimed, because World Health Organization says that the road accidents are the leading cause of death and disability in the world, most especially in Africa. So we are looking at events like that. Then another aspect of the event is the community is interested in helping. We want to create a platform, not for us scientists. We want to go beyond that for the first responder on the village to test and see, is there a black spot in my area? What can I do? So that is the kind of toolkit we are looking at. More like what the smartphone has done to the village mother. Saigaya platform has done a lot, especially in seeding the very idea of motorbike accidents uh, being uh, sorted out. Because I first heard about it at Ubuntu Connect when Professor Barbero was presenting the use case from Kenya. So the use case from Kenya uses medical personnel and police officers. Those are the most underpaid and overworked people. So in the process of trying to solve that problem, we realized we can use the community. We are many more. And in terms of reporting, so that's how the Saigea platform has helped me in terms of giving me a prototype to start from. So I didn't build from zero. We came up with the Kenya team and the Kenya team advised, advised me and my team on how to set up. Then we took it up from there back to the community. So the Saigea platform has helped me even to come to Nairobi and meet more people who have even refined the idea beyond a motorbike ambulance to a wheelbarrow ambulance, which is being implemented in, 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 in the Nairobi slums. So I've been inspired to even take it further. If someone, all they have is a, a wheelbarrow, how can we use it to move someone from an inaccessible spot to the main road? So that, that another aspect also by the, this, what Saigai has done is by putting me on the champions list, it has given me authority and credence. I can talk authoritatively to the police officials whom I work with at the university I'm working with, uh, Makere University. People are actually even seeking to join us in the public health gateway with their projects. So that kind of publicity has come from being listed uh, as a project in the Saigea platform. The, the main synergy here is uh, the technology that has been demonstrated, especially from the public health gateway and developed for the Kenyan context, and the, and the smile, um, application that has already been initiated in Uganda, that can actually benefit a lot from the technology side because the social side, the community-facing side is already quite well thought through. 
So the dissemination now, where the technology is being used and exploited to even increase the reach of the smile, I think that, that is key. And we can also borrow the smile idea, the smile thing, to come to our side, the Kenyan side, where now, instead of looking at the clinicians, we can look at the mountain bike guy around us themselves and say, look, guys, it's beautiful to think like this. It's beautiful to operate like this. And I think I'm, I really like the idea of on that. The public health gateway of Uganda is what we branded into One Smile. Because with my business background, I realized you don't just sell a product as its ingredients. We had to ask ourselves the question, what is the end goal of the health system? It is to broker happiness. That is the one thing we can all agree on. So we borrowed the model from Kenya, brought it to Uganda, dressed it up, because we want this beautiful lady called Africa to actually look beautiful. People look better when they smile. So how do we use the concept of smiles in service delivery at the last mile? So that last mile care, so that's how the synergy is being built. The second aspect is that uh, Team Kenya managed to attend the Hackfest in Catania. So they learned how to integrate the future Gateway API very well. That's one thing I've been struggling with over on the Uganda side, to integrate that technical aspect, while also preserving the easier onboarding experience. So that's when someone comes on, they don't even know what a federated gateway is. Can we mask that? And because someone is so passionate about sharing their story, they will go beyond even all that federation and say, I need to share this story. So that's the kind of synergy where we create stories of hope, not just marketing death. No, eh? So we are marketing life. So that's why we are doing storytelling. And storytelling is what my grandmother in the village understands very well. You're probably better than your grandmother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's part of the synergy. Yeah.